Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Fox Plays with your host Fox, aka Alex. Bzzz. Have I got a special surprise for you guys? Three hours ago, I was at work looking at my emails and boom, I got the demo for Bloodstain. I was like, are you kidding me? And I was like, I'm stuck at work. I just want to play Bloodstain. Oh man, I wanted to get home. I'm so pumped. I'm going to get this game started in a second, but I just want to show you my, my Dracula. He's excited too. So yeah, hey, say hello, Dracula. Yeah, he's had a bit of a rough night. You can see the beers there. <laughs> Anyway, let's get started. Enough talking, let's play this game, all right? Press any button. Uh, let's go, just game start. Who cares about options? I just wanna play the game so badly. So yeah, like I'm a huge Castlevania fan and I got a fatal error, fantastic. Damn. And that's the end of the video, guys. Peace out. All right, sweet. Game's, <laughs> game's working. I was getting panicking that my computer just couldn't handle the awesomeness of this game. So down, back, oh my god, you can do the back dash from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Oh, cool, oh. Alright, so we got kick. I like the chun li -esque kick, it's cool. Alright, long sword, alright, let's, let's equip that sword. Oh man, I can't believe I'm playing this. And the main character looks, I love the animation in this game, it's really cool. Like, this is just a demo, and I, I think it looks great. I like the backgrounds and the colors and the contrast. Alright, let's go, go. Alright, my first enemy. Nice and easy. And yeah, so tell, you know, tell us about, I guess, leave a comment down below. Like, what's, I guess, what made you attracted to Castle? What, you know, what made you love Castlevania? Um, I, <clears throat> I had, uh, was it? Super Nintendo growing up, so I had... Oh, cool, yeah. So I had a Super Nintendo growing up, so my, my first Castlevania game I played was uh, Super Castlevania 4, and I played it, and I thought it was awesome. Like, it was hard, it was challenging. I loved the enemies in the game, they looked so cool, and that's what, I guess, made me fall in love with Castlevania, was the... Oh, man, the backgrounds and that. Oh, and the guys coming from the foregrounds. Oh, that's sick. And the blood. Oh, my God. I'm going to be able to talk. I'm just going to get... Oh, Oh. Yeah, I, I can't, I can't. Wait, hold up. I'm trying to do the jumped up dash into the thing. Yeah, oh, come on, I must have got some power up. Power up! Shard. Cannot be handled by an ordinary person. Shard shoots whirlpools. Press. Alright, cool. Yeah, so. That was my Castlevania story, was I played Castlevania 4 and I absolutely fell in love with the game. I just thought it was the most fantastic, magical game I've ever played. And I, yeah, what I was saying is I love the enemies in the game. They were so cool. Like the, um, and I, because I was huge in, I was huge into Greek mythology as well. There surely is a secret wall here. Alright, oh, it's down here. Yeah, I was like huge into Greek mythology and like old monsters and that. So when I played a game that had all these cool monsters from like, you know, horror movies and like Greek mythology, you know, other countries' mythologies, plus, you know, other monsters and that, I was like, this is sick. And yeah, ever since that day, I was becoming a huge Castlevania fan. And um, yeah, I went back and played the Nintendo Castlevanias. And then, then there was that special day when I finally played Castlevania Symphony of the Night and I was blown away. And I, lo I love all the Castlevanias, like, I like the, you know, the original 2D Vampire Killer-esque, oh, found a oh, boom. Yeah, I love, like, you know, the, just the simple, you know, your whip, you know, the jumps, the hardness of it, but I also like the, these new, the newest, this game's definitely a Metroidvania-style one, but I have no problem with that. I just want some new Castlevania, because Konami, step your game up, what have you done? What, what has that company done? Ah, uh, anyway. So that, that's my Castlevania, and I would like to hear, you know, what got you into Castlevania. It's not, I guess, that, like, back in the Nintendo days, Castlevania was a pretty big deal. It was very popular, but now it's not as popular as it used to be. And, like, I don't know, so true, but I don't know that many people that love Castlevania. It's, it's more like, when I meet, so, like, Metal Gear Solid is, like, a big one. Everyone's like, everyone knows Metal Gear Solid, but when it comes to Castlevania, people have heard of it, but they haven't played it. And if you haven't played it, this is the first time you've been exposed to this title game. Seriously, like, go back, man. Like, it's 
it's it's so much I can't describe how much I love these games and you saw my Dracula statue I'm a huge Castlevania like but that statue is pretty expensive but I was like I don't care man I just love Castlevania level up sweet oh doing one extra damage oh yeah mm, mm, mm. what's this oh okay some new magic oh I like this magic I like the animation that happens when you RT uh, oh, I get it. Oh, cool! And you can, that's super cool. That is really cool. Actually, I just realized I still need to go find that mask that got destroyed at the start of the game, but oh well. But actually, well, this, this demo is not that long. It was at the E3. Um, actually, I need to utilize my backdash. And oh, a big confession. See this back. Oh, this aim is going to stop. Are they going to stop? <laughs> Is it infinity? Should, should I just grind up? No, I'm not gonna. I'm not, you're not gonna watch me grind for. They give you. Let's try to see how many experience points they give you. Two. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna grind grind out this. Um, but yeah, this back dash that I'm doing right now. I mean, when I when I do I, I do martial arts, I do taekwondo, and when we have to like jump backwards, every time I do that back dash, I feel like I'm Alucard from Symphony of the Night. I just feel like a badass, even though I'm I probably look like an absolute lame doing it. Oh man, ooh, this is these monsters are cool. What I actually want to know is I want to <clears throat> if like all the Castlevania enemies and and whatnot are like copyrighted, because like Medusa and you know all those monsters and that they're all you know fictional creatures anyway so are they going to be like you know from mythology so I don't know I wonder if they're going to keep him or I like this enemy looks cool it's like a lion head with, just smacked him for 10 damn but yeah no seriously guys leave a comment down below tell me what what you love about Castlevania and if this is the first time you've heard about it what do you think about the game so far and look this is a demo and I honest, I'm really impressed with it I've, I usually don't play demos very very often uh, I don't even I think the last demo I ever played was freaking Metal Gear Solid 2 on when, when it came out with the Zone of the Enders that was probably the last time I played a demo that's a long time ago oh man and oh, the, the story behind that demo for some strange reason the game the game Depending on what PlayStation 2 you had, like as in, just like on a, if it was worn or whatever, it it like would take forever to load. And I remember just spending 10 minutes loading between each screen, and I was just so excited just to see just some new Metal Gear Solid action. Um, but yeah, I, I'm yeah, I am a I have backed this game on Kickstarter. I've gone for the I actually forgot which tier I've gone. It's like one that was like $300. Uh, what was it? It comes with the game and it's signed poster, I believe. And yeah, I'm, I can't wait. I'm so pumped for it. And I hope... Because it's unfortunate, Mighty Number no. 9 came out. And I was, I'm a big Mega Man fan too. Not as much as I love Castlevania. Level up! <clears throat> Not as much as I love Castlevania. And um, it's really sad that the game came out. And it's, it's okay. Like, I haven't played it, but I've seen all the reviews and it's a bit... It's a bit average, but hey, you know what? Now it's Cast now it's Castlevania's time to shine. What's that? What that is? Oh, magic! I haven't even used my magic. I've used it once. Oh, it's re is it regenerating? It is regenerating. All right, cool. But my health's not. Uh, what have we got here? Kung Fu shoes. What? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check out Kung Fu shoes. Uh, not an except. Oh yeah, I got ring. Common cheap ring doesn't do anything, but it looks cool. Heat retaining scarf. I just I think the main character as well looks so cool. I love the art style, and I loved how they maintained the original all the people from like sorry most of the you know co-creators of the original Castlevania. So at least the art styles pre pre like preserved. I'm on the like, <clears throat> when I think of Konami, like not only do I think of their good games and. And that, but I've always loved their art styles. And if you ever met my brother, he's a huge, he's a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. He has like so many action figures, but he's never even played Metal. Like he hasn't finished Metal Gear Solid. He just loves. I gotta, I gotta get my bearings right. I gotta get my bearings right. Oh jeez, I smack. Right, I gotta, I gotta get used to. I'm so used to 
walking backwards that I forgot that the, the whole concept of that, you, you know, use that back dash to get out of problems. What if I can get up there? No, it doesn't matter. But yeah, like, I, I've always loved the art style of, like, Konami games used to mean a lot to me, and it, it's really sad what's happened to the company now, how they're just, you know, just making gambling machines, and that's, that absolutely sickens me, like, it's just, just imagine if Disney just stopped making Disney movies and just started making freaking child porn or something, and it's a horrible example, but that's, that's how I feel like, you know, Konami made all these great games that I absolutely adore, love, grew up with, grew, played still as an adult, you know, and now they've just become just this gambling machine company. Oh, cool. This is cool. Oh, man. And yeah, like, I always loved the art. The, the, it was like the art. The art was the main thing for me with Konami games. I loved the character designs, like in Metal Gear Soul, like Silent Hill, uh, Castlevania, freaking Mystical Ninja as well. Oh man, so many great games. And so far, this it plays just, it honestly, it just feels like I'm playing Castlevania again. It, it feels good. I feel complete again. <laughs> I don't mean that, but like, there's been great, lots of great games about Castlevania, but it just feels good to play another Metroidvania style game again. Oh, getting out of here. Alright, this time Alex, face him, and then just... Actually, I, I do too much damage. I'm too strong. I'm too legit. Oh, I lost my firepower up. Oh no. Oh, great. Oh, I can't get the secret up here. Damn it, sour about that. I don't even remember what enemy it was. Nah, I've lost the fire. Crap. Well, guess, I guess more reason for me to replay the demo again. Alright, hopefully we get... Ah, instead of hearts, it's flowers. Flower hearts. Alright, I got a feeling we're at the end. We're approaching the end. This demo's not that long, but I don't care, man. I just, I just want to play it. Actually, I'm almost level up as well. Yeah, I'm almost level up as well. I'm going to be too strong for the boss. Yeah, I feel like we're at the end. Alright, let's climb up the mast this time. Alright. Jeez, I smack these buys. I hope, I hope the game's a little bit harder than this. I, I always have such fond memories of when I play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And if you guys know, leave a comment down below. The Crystal Grim weapon. That absolute monster of a weapon that just destroyed enemies. Oh man, I'm just, I'm just having so many... I'm actually having like full flashbacks to just playing Castlevania. And the last good Castlevania game I've played was... Um, actually, I, I guess I turned up my favorite game. So I really like, obviously, Symphony of the Night. Um, I love Super Castlevania 4 and Super Nintendo. Uh, I've never got to play Rondo of Blood, the the actual, you know, the Turbo, was it? PC Engine version, but I've, but I've played like Rondo of Blood, the, oh sorry, Dracula X and Super Nintendo, which is pretty cool, but obviously not as good as the game. I'm, you know what, there's a boss here, I'm going to get some health. Done. Yeah, I'm going to smack this beach up. Oh, wow. Oh, bit of a Japanese upskirt there. She looks such a cool character. I'm waiting for all the girls cosplaying as her. That's so, she looks so cool. Oh, that enemy. You know what I also like about Castlevania? Even though it's like a dark horror game, it had color to it. It wasn't, it wasn't just depressing. They, they just, they knew. All right, hold up. There we go. Bang. Oh man, I'm gonna smack, I'm gonna beat this boss first, go. Oh, big, big titties. <laughs> big titties. Jeez, what? You know this game's Japanese when there's freaking big titties and the enemies got big titties. Oh, jump backwards. Alright. I'm gonna smack this tentacle up. What's she gonna do? Oh, laser breath. I love this kung fu kicks though, it is so cool. It's like they're just like, you know what? Oh, I got level, level up? Jeez. <laughs> oh, don't tell I killed already. Alright, thank you for playing. No, seriously, thank you for giving me an opportunity to play this demo. What a game. 
Oh, man. If you guys enjoy that as much as I did, leave a comment down below. Give it a like. Give it a share. Seriously, share with everyone. I want everyone to see this. Like, I want Castlevania to be... I want to restore it to its former glory. I want Bloodstain to be like... Mm, I want to show Konami that us fans still love their games. And it's their fault that they let all their stuff... Well, actually, they quit. I think they quit. And I don't blame them because Konami is like, falling down. But yeah, give it a like, give it a share, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel for more, and guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. I might try and do a no damage run or something. I don't know, do something crazy. I might explore the full demo. Peace out, guys.